guys, it's Madison Pajaro, and today we're going to be doing my old favorites plus my new favorites. If you do end up liking this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So if you want to watch this video, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so let's start off with my old favorite. Okay, so my first old favorite is a body spray, and it's from Bath & Body Works, and it's the Tahiti Island Dream Body Spray. I've been using this body spray for so long since the smell pretty much came out, and I love it so much. Like, this is what I'm always freaking wearing. Like, ugh. It literally smells so good. Like, it's so girly. I just love it. Another old favorite of mine is a face mask, and it's the Facial Peel-Off Mask Cucumber by Feeling Beautiful, or maybe by Freeman. I don't know. But it is such a good mask, though. That's what it looks like. This is like one of those masks where like you put it on and it's clear and you can like peel it off and everything. It's one of those fun masks and I literally love it so much. It's a very old favorite of mine. Another old favorite of mine is this Burt's Bees Herbal Blemish Stick. It's so good. That's what it looks like. Pretty much if you have like a pimple or something, you just roll this on it and it'll be gone by like the end of the day. It smells kind of funny. <laughs> But I love it though. Another old favorite of mine is still a very new favorite of mine. I use this all the time. I use this in my makeup tutorials and stuff. It's the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Makeup. And I'm in the shade W4 Natural Beige. So that's what it looks like. So I still use this foundation literally sometimes on a day-to-day -day basis. And I absolutely love it. It gives such a nice coverage. Actually, am I wearing it right now? I'm literally wearing it right now. So, if you like the way my skin looks, you need to get this. Another old favorite of mine is the Pantene 3-Minute Miracle Repair and Protect Deep Conditioner. I use this all the time in my ends, and that's why I'm able to use, like, so much heat. And it's honestly such a good deep conditioner. Like, my hair is just, it smells so good. It makes your hair so soft. I love it. Okay, so another old product that I've always loved is the Clinique Long Last Glossware in Tin Air Kit. So that's what it looks like. It is such a good lip gloss. I still wear it in my videos. In fact, let me just pop on a little bit right now. I love lip gloss and this is my favorite one of all time. Okay, so another old favorite of mine is the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. This bronzer is so good. Like, some people say it looks a little too orange on them. But for me, it literally looks like I'm literally, like, that's my tan color. That's what it looks like. And literally, I've hit pan on this, as you can see. As you can see. <laughs> like, I love this bronzer. I will never stop loving it. It's what I'm wearing today. But if you're like a pink undertone or maybe you're just really pale, this probably wouldn't work for you. And you, have, you can't really use it with like a super heavy hand. Like kind of a heavy hand. I definitely like tap a few times and then put it on. But it's so pretty though. Another old favorite of mine. I feel like so many girls have this as an old favorite. Is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Tin Light. I love this concealer. I'm wearing it right now again. <laughs> it, I've just worn this since I started wearing concealer really. Like, I'm in love with this concealer. It's so pretty. It doesn't crease on me. Matches my skin tone perfectly. Well, it doesn't match. It's like a few shades lighter. But for me, it's the perfect shade to be under my eyes. That's what it looks like. It is such a good concealer. I think that if you're a beginner also, you should probably get this concealer to start off with. It's so easy to blend. I just suggest it to everybody. Another old favorite of mine is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Healthy luminous makeup now mine is really messed up right now because it's rubbed off i just broke the pump i'm buying a new one tomorrow so i'm just going to insert a picture <laughs> this is what it looks like i'm in the color where the heck? i'm in the color w5 sand beige and it says like warm under the w5 and i just feel like this foundation is so pretty it's not full coverage but it gives you like this color to you and it covers up what it needs to cover up like it covers up a good amount of redness it covers up my veins and everything pretty well and you don't feel like you're wearing makeup okay so we're gonna get into the new favorites now so this is a pretty new favorite this is the stila magnificent metals in smoldering satin and i'm using this in a makeup tutorial i just filmed a makeup tutorial with this in it 
and I just feel like this is such a pretty one. The reason why I say it's kind of new is because I wore it on prom of my senior prom. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like, guys. Such a pretty color. You just pop this right on your lid and you literally have a whole glam look. It's so pretty. Another new favorite of mine is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream by, I guess it's Sol de... Chindra? I don't know how to say that, but first off, this packaging is super duper cute. Like, this is lotion, by the way, and it smells like heaven. This makes my skin so soft. I smell so good throughout the day. You know how sometimes you'll buy a lotion and be like, oh wow, this smells so good. Like, let me get it. And then you put it on and you only smell like it for like 20 minutes. And it feels like a waste of money and stuff. I just feel like this is the exact opposite of that and I want to use it every single day but it's so expensive for a lotion. I think this one was like 50 bucks. I feel like it's worth your money though, you know? Another new favorite of mine is the Nourishing Plus Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum by OGX. And it looks like this. That's what it looks like guys. And has a low pump and I just feel like it's such a good serum for your hair. Everybody needs it. It makes your hair so soft. You smell just like coconut, but not like that annoying coconut smell, you know what I'm saying? It's not super strong, but it's so good. I just feel like everyone needs to get this. Use this before and sometimes after you straighten your hair. Your hair will be beautiful. Okay, guys, another new favorite of mine is the NYX Professional Makeup Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I just feel like this sets my makeup, it makes it stay all day, and it makes me like not look dry at all. Like you could put on so much powder, then you just spray this on it, and it will literally make your makeup just really melt into your face and just look like your actual skin. And it makes your highlight like super bright, like I love it. Okay, so this is a new favorite, but it's a new favorite concealer. So you already know what my old favorite concealer was, and this is one of my new favorites. It's the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. What it looks like and honestly like i just feel like i can't live without it <laughs> like if if you want that really highlighted look like bright under eyes bright all the points on your face that light hits you if you want that get this like it's such a nice shade and ugh, i love it <laughs> another new favorite of mine is this becca blush and it's the becca mineral blush in songbird let me show you what this looks like so this is the shade that it's in guys. It's such a pretty color and for me, like pinky tones and kind of purplish tones don't really look that great on me. So like I like warm tones, almost bronzy tones. And that's what this is. This is like a warm, warm peach, you know, or almost an orange if you want to call it that. And I absolutely love it. I don't put a lot because it's shimmery and it's so pigmented, but I would suggest this to most people who are very warm tone that don't feel like pink looks good on them. Okay guys, so that was the video. I don't really have a lot of super, super faves that are old and new and everything, but I just wanted to share the ones that I would literally suggest to everyone. Like, I wanted to share the ones I feel like could work for pretty much everyone. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Please give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications. You guys are literally the best, and I'm so thankful to have each and every one of you. And I was thinking about doing like monthly favorites, you know, like I would really like to do that. Comment below if you would like for me to do that guys i love you all so much and i'll see you all in the next video